you might be surprised about the topic what i'm talking about with that number of the good following on linkedin youtube and different platforms do i still have some regret with the success that i have gained i have worked in many big names across the globe in very big multinational companies leading government government organization in different part of the world do i still have some regrets as an automation engineer that's one of the thing i'm going to talk about in today's video when i opened my linkedin yesterday i got very interesting question do you still have some regret as an automation engineer what you would do differently if you have to start your career again if you have to study your engineering degree again what you would try to do this time differently let's start with engineering degree first and then we would talk about career mistakes before we talk about that if you're new to the channel consider subscribing this youtube channel turn your notification on so that you don't miss our future content let's start today's topic there are many students who approach me on linkedin and ask what should be their consideration when they are studying engineering i would say one thing if you learn the art of solving problems then you're halfway there to become a successful automation engineer it is very very important that in your engineering degree you learn the art of solving problems be it's a small mathematical problem or it's a c c++ or any other language program it would definitely help you to make your mind stronger your muscle memory stronger your confidence stronger that is very very important when you get into automation or any engineering field if you have a courage if you have a habit of solving problems that is going to definitely help you apart from it if you know how to speak effectively your communication skill is also important try to speak try to engage with different webinars different seminars in your university if i have to start my degree again i would be focusing on two things problem solving mindset and communication skill how effectively you can communicate that really matters in any engineering field now let's suppose you are done with the engineering degree when i completed my degree i was always trying to be in a comfort zone learn for ex for example i learned siemens then i would be like i have i am done with the plc's it's very important that you need to you need to be out of your comfort zone especially at the earlier stages of your career if you have learned one plc try to learn another brand if you learn plc two brands then it's the time to learn hmis then dcs then scada and industrial protocols learning should never end and that was one of the thing if i have done some some way better in that direction i might be much better automation engineer as compared to who i am right now even right now people are aware about me a lot of people actually follow me on linkedin youtube and they i am one of the social media influencer in automation field but still i feel sometime if i have focus on that specific area i might be better automation engineer and the second point which is very very important that is all about ignoring cyber security i remember when i started my career in power plants in cement sector in an oil and gas sector everywhere there was one saying power plants and dcs and plc systems are not to connect to outer world at that stage so there was no concept of industrial digitalization industry 4.0 that was the reason people were ignoring one of a very trending emerging field which is ot cyber security i wish i knew that that is something that's very important i have learned effectively in that domain although i'm right now working as an ot cyber security consultant in that field 
might have done more better than what I'm doing right now. Another area which I, I wish I have done better in that one that and I do have a regret that I should focus on networking. Networking be it's an IT networking which involves switching, routing, VLAN concepts and other different concepts related to networking IT. That's very important for you nowadays as an automation engineer, as an OT cybersecurity engineer. I wish I knew that when I was doing, when I was in earlier stages as an automation engineer, then it might be different. Another aspect is industrial protocols. Learning industrial protocol is very, very vital for you to be a successful in automation and obviously OT cybersecurity domains. Another very important thing is a networking. I wish I had a better networking at that stage. I have spent more time connecting to different seniors who are already in that field. At earlier stages, I was shy, sort of having a different fear in mind to ask questions from seniors. And that was one of the things which cost me badly in my career. I have developed that habit of asking questions later, but at earlier stages, I was shy and that costed me a lot as an automation engineer. Another very important thing is, it is attention to the details. That's an art that you need to learn. You need to look into the wiring diagrams. You need to read different electrical drawings, control panel drawings, PNIDs. And then you need to use these documents to solve your problems. We normally think like just learning the ladder logic is enough, but understanding of a different drawings, understanding of a different documentation is very, very important. I wish I have started earlier to open up these document and solve my problems using the documentation as well. Now it's the time to talk about one of very, very important point. That's about use of uh, social media, LinkedIn platforms and different other platforms to showcase your skills. I have started it later early, but there are many people who are not doing it effectively. I would share with you my major jobs, which you include General Electric, you talk about my current role and my previous role, which are in big multinational names and different big government industries in different countries. It was just because of LinkedIn. LinkedIn helped me a lot in my career. So if you are not doing that part, like you are not sharing your journey on LinkedIn. For instance, if you start learning PLC programs, try to share that, try to share whatever you are learning through tutorials, through YouTube videos or through the videos on LinkedIn, explain what you're doing so that people should know what you know. Because I always believe no matter what you know, if people are not aware about it, you're at the zero level your chance to grow would be definitely very, very less. It's very, very important to have a good portfolio on LinkedIn and different platforms. You can see my LinkedIn profile, how I optimize it and how I got my following around about 38,000 right now. It's a big number, right? You can do it. That, you can do that as well. With that, I'm going to conclude today's video. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. Sub subscribe if you haven't yet. Until next, until next time, take care and bye-bye.